Hey everyone, this is Derek Pike, the Motor City Mechanic again. Now I've got another video for you, and this one's going to be on removing the passenger side airbag assembly on a 2003, 2004, and 2005 Dodge Ram series trucks. Now that of course includes the 1500s, 25, and 3500 series. I want to show you step by step what you need to do to gain access to it, to do it the proper way, and what you need to do to get the airbag assembly out of the car. So you go ahead and get comfortable and get ready to check it out. All right, so the basic process we're going to do in order to get this airbag assembly out, which is mounted directly to the back of this cover, um, this cover will be coming out. In order to gain access to it, we've got to take the side panel off. We've got to remove the glove box. We need to pull the AC control head radio bezel off the vehicle. And then we also need to work on getting the cup holder assembly out and the piece of trim going directly below it. And we need to pull down on the knee bolster that's directly below the steering column. The reason why is there is a perimeter of screws that go around here. The ones that go along the bottom of the airbag cover are actually hidden behind a plastic panel that runs from the driver's side all the way over to the passenger side. So this whole piece of plastic in between my two hands here, there's a piece back behind it we will be taking off. Once we take it off, then we'll have access to the fasteners that hold the cover in place on the frame, as well as a total of four 10 millimeter bolts that actually mount the airbag to the frame of the dash. So that's what we'll be working on. So the first thing I'm going to probably work on is getting my trim stick, getting the side cover off, and getting the glove box. Um, the glove box is held in with two fingers. Uh, what you do is you open it up. And right here in each corner, there's two fingers that you need to kind of push down on. You might use a little bit of force. Once you've got it down, you can rotate it further down, and it, the hinges kind of hook on. If you got anything in here, it's going to dump it onto the floor, so watch out. And then you got your hooks right there. So here's the hook type hinges. And these are the two fingers I was telling you about that you need to push down on in order to get it out. So we'll set that to the side. And then we'll go ahead and start getting this cover off here. And we'll work on getting that center dash bezel off. Alright, so as always, plastic trim stick. That way you don't scratch or mar up the plastic no more than you need to. Anything metal could cause damage. We need to get up in here to get these snaps loose. Just kind of find your corner. Get up in here and start prying a little bit. You start popping it loose. It can be on there pretty snug from time to time, so just take your time. Work it around. Once you get one side loose, you probably get more loose. Take it off. Now the reason why we had to take that off is this portion of the dash. This is that piece that runs from the driver's side of the steering column all the way over here that we're going to be taking off. It probably doesn't hurt to go ahead and pull this rubber seal down a little bit to kind of get it out of the way. Now the door seal piece runs up and gets kind of in the way of that corner of that dash so it doesn't hurt to pull it up. Trim stick again. Find your edge to get up under and just start pulling up on it. As you pull up on it, you'll get to this side. I usually get my hand all the way up in here the best I can and I put one hand right here pull back. Now depending on how long it's been on, the plastic could get dry, brittle, the snaps could break off, stay inside the opening. It's just how it is because they, they do hold on fairly well. So with that out of the way, we'll move on to the cup holder assembly. Now we got the center trim bezel we need to get off. Now there's only one screw holding it in place but a lot of metal snap-in fasteners. And one screw is right above here, above the, I guess you can call it a bag holder. Let's back out the Phillips screw there it to the side. Now we got to watch because pretty much anything that's in this little cubby hole is going to want to fall out. So it doesn't hurt to just go ahead and pull everything out and sit it somewhere nice and neat. Otherwise it's going to end up in your floorboard just like everything else would in your glove box. Now I don't really need a trim stick to pull this off but what I can do is I can grab it with my hand. Now before I grab it and pull this knee bolster up under here. There's two Phillips screws that hold it on at the bottom. I don't need to take them off because if I pull down on the top of this, it pops loose. And that gives me access to what I need to get to. I've got a corner of this bezel that kind of goes behind there. So it kind of helps me in getting that out easily. 
and we're also going with this down there's two actually a total of three screws we'll get to for that piece that goes from the driver's side steering column all the way over to the passenger side the dash frame in the back so with this out of the way now what I can do is start pulling out on here I just grab a corner that I can get I can even grab on that hook if I want start pulling work your way around and get it unsnapped from all the positions and move it out of the way now we do have some connectors on the back that we need to get loose so I'm kind of holding on to this trim piece we've got two connectors that go on the back of the AC control head we've got one over here for the power outlet and we've got one that's actually a dummy plug over here if it had an airbag on off switch you would actually have a switch on the back side here and that would plug into it this is actually just there to hold the wiring out of place so it is wired for it it just isn't equipped with it so you just go through and you squeeze in on the locks kind of work your way around I like to kind of keep this piece off the dash as much as possible so that the metal fingers don't want to scratch certain things the one that's kind of tight to get off is actually the main larger connector for the AC control head she stays in there pretty stout so I kind of just use my trim stick to push in and pry up and out now we get that off we can sit it to the side now along the top edge here you can see the cup holder still in view there's some screws around the top we're going to be working on and a trim bezel down below and once we get that off we're basically down to that shell of the once again I repeat from the driver's side steering column all the way over to the passenger side door we're going to be taking off at this point, I want to fold the cup holder assembly up because I need to get this plastic panel off. Plastic panel is real easy; just snaps in two places on the front. You just grab a corner, pull loose, work your way around, and set it to the side. Now, up under, there's going to be two screws that are related to this cup holder. We got to get off that are located up under here, and we've got two screws on the top. Let me go ahead and get those out of the way.